Hello everyone, welcome to Save Your Spot. I'm Pepe and in this video I've saved a spot for you to learn all about Lewis Carroll. So get ready, get comfy and let's get started. <laughs> Lewis Carroll was a pseudonym, a pen name that he used. It was not his real name. His real name was Charles Ludwig Dodgson. Are you surprised? I know I am. He was born in England in January the 27th, 1832, and was the eldest of a family of 11 children. As a boy, he excelled in mathematics and won many academic prizes. When he was 20, he was awarded a scholarship to Christ College, where he later taught as a lecturer in mathematics. Apart from serving as a lecturer, he was also an avid photographer. He wrote essays, pamphlets and poetry. He suffered from a bad, bad stum stummer when speaking to adults and was very shy. Strangely enough though, he found himself to be vocally fluent when speaking with children and he enjoyed creating stories for them. Carol loved to entertain all children and it was thought that Alice, the daughter of George Liddell, was thought to be his inspiration for the story Alice in Wonderland. Lewis met the Liddell family in 1855 when he first became friends with Harry, the older brother. However, Lewis himself claimed in later years that his Alice was entirely imaginary and not based upon any real child at all. Who knows? Through a series of coincidences, the story then fell into the hands of the novelist Henry Kingsley, who urged Carol to publish it. The book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was published in 1865. It gained steady popularity and as a result Carol wrote the sequel Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There in 1871. By the time of Lewis's death, Alice had become the most popular children's book in England and by 1932 it was one of the most popular in the whole world. Before his 66th birthday, Lewis Carroll unfortunately caught a severe case of influenza which led to pneumonia and he died on January the 14th, 1898. That, my friends, brings us to the end of our video. I do hope you now know more about who Lewis Carroll was. Click on the links below to access free teacher resources and to watch the Jabberwocky, a child-friendly version of a video clip for, to help you understand Lewis Carroll's most nonsensical poem. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow my blog down below uh, for more educational videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah.